So I just finished watching a video and this video is very worrying and is very stressing and very concerning. It's a video of President Tabombeki. We all know President Tabombeki is one of the most educated and most intelligent politicians we've ever heard in South Africa. Most probably one of the most intellectuals of presidentials we've ever had in Africa. So he was talking about land, he was speaking about land and expressing his thoughts when it comes to the issue of land. So I will play the video and I will let you guys decide what you think about the video and his stance on land. And then I'll also share my thoughts after the video. This is the video. The land shall be shared among those who work it. That is a very well thought out position, strategic position with regard to solving a number of issues here. The national question, the land question, how do we handle it? No, somebody pops up. No, 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 no. Let's take the land and give it to our people. So I say, me, I belong to the ANC. Who, according to the ANC in South Africa, is not our people? There's nobody who's got our people. So the video you just watched is President Sabombeki expressing his opinions about the land based on the constitution. So he's asking a simple question. Since he is part of the ANC and the ANC is in government, so if black people want the land back, who are they taking the land back to if they're saying we want to give our people back the land? Who is it? And in his defense, I understand what he's saying. It's like a logical question. Who is it? Is it black people? Is it also colored people? What about poor people who have always been here? Do white people also get a share or should they go? It's a simple question, you know, but he's also asking it based on him being in the ANC. It's not him being in the MK or the EFF. So the EFF might have a different perspective when it comes to the land because there was a video Julius Malema made about this answering this question but it was in parliament but he was not answering president Tabumbeki. he was answering this other guy he was like how dare you ask who is our people as a black person knowing very well who our people are you went to the schools of thought learning black consciousness you learned the struggle and the liberation of black people and yet you still want to ask who our people are our people is you know our people you know the people who are poor who it is you know the people who are marginalized who it is you know so the eff might defend themselves and saying that our people is black people our people is black colored people and then president tabombeki might ask what about white people are they not our people as South Africans? What about poor people? You know? So, not trying to be so biased, but trying to be open-minded with this discussion. I want people to know that this thing of land, if you're not taking it serious, black people might never even get the land back. Because it seems like they don't even want the land back. I'm not talking about the politicians. The politicians, yeah, their policies on land, they're clear, they're sound. It's just that they're not getting enough votes for them to be able to implement this. So black people are not voting for the political parties that are ready to give them land. Maybe they don't want land. Maybe, maybe someone would ask, maybe someone like Penel the Black Pen would ask and be like, I know Penel the Black Pen wouldn't say it in my voice, wouldn't say it in my articulate. But I know he would ask and say, if black people really want the land, why are they not doing anything to get it? And I also ask the same question, why are they not doing anything to get the land? Maybe they don't want it. So should we just forget about this land thing and move on and focus on other political agendas? Because it seems like black people, they're not serious. They don't even do agriculture, they don't understand land, you know? So, yeah, man. Shout out to President Tabo but shout out to other political parties that are still fighting this agenda for getting the land back.